Support for Talking Town is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Hold up, fellas. I don't think we've quite understood what I'm talking about here. We've gone years in the UK without using the right tools for the job. Long gone are the days of a razor blade in the mirror. No more shall we look like Sideshow Bob down there. Manscaped have redesigned the electric trimmer. Their engineering team have perfected the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and have just released the new and approved Lawn Mower 3.0 in the UK. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents because nobody wants a bloodbath in the bathroom. Did I tell you it's got waterproof technology so you can dim those lights, get yourself in the shower and groom to your heart's content. Whatever you do, however you do it, do it with Manscaped's Lawnmower 3.0. And don't forget, you can get 20% off and free delivery with the code TT. Manscaped.com. Make your testies their besties. my friends and you are my friends and we are here we interrupt your normal regular programming on a wednesday night whatever that may be uh for a transfer special it is that is a done deal uh, as alex wilson says another quality signing absolutely so uh may cox nice meeting like mostly like yesterday also hates miss pitta league is set to sell yes it is hey <laughs> set sarah i'll bring in cruncher straight away because cruncher uh i've got i've gone out the shower there i am drying my manscape dingly dangling <laughs> and uh the wife is m- nagging in that ear. Don't know what about. I ain't found out yet. Look at my phone to try and escape that. And you're blowing up. Hey, isn't that rather apt? We've got someone in the chat called Yvonne Groom. Yvonne, well, I suppose it is. Um, another great sign, I'm sure. Matt Phillips, we've got to tell everyone, Matt Phillips was on about showers. Matt Phillips once, guys, he had four showers in one day. I, and I mean, we matter. met him last night. He's a very small guy. So <laughs> he, is. he didn't need a lot of water, did he? Because he get wet. No, he, he really, he really hey, did. What a great signing. What a well, great catch that up. Is. So you're going to tell me, um, as well as the guys who don't know. Tomorrow night, we will have an MK Dons fan on. I'm working on it. He was just about to go out the door. He wants to know what the figure is because he said their club, they're a bit sort of, I think it's um, it's quite a high six-figure fee, isn't it, really? I, I'd say seven, eight 800000 I reckon, for a sort of, Oh, really? A player, a, yeah, well, a, a player in his ilk, 14 goals, six assists. I know 11 of them, Martin, were penalties last season. He's a good they penalty were. taker. They were, yeah. Um, Hox is in the low crunch. Who's uh, in the low Hox? We're all in the know. We all know something or other. I don't know what it is, but we all know something. Harry Butcher, I believe they call it promotion. Jodickson, we're going up, question mark. Um, you say about the fee there, I don't know if it can be that much because they're playing quite hardball with crooks in regards to well, you know, four, look, then six. 750 Hox says in the Hox. chest. He, oh, is that what he hears? Look at Hox, look, coming in with the yeah. in-the-know stuff. Um, I want to know how he knows. I know Hox. No. Who's it? <laughs> Hox, it's Kai Penny, Bingham. still after crooks. Bingham. They ben reckon Walks. they're still after Crooks. The Crooks deal's not dead. He's not playing. No. I don't think they're playing tonight, Rotherham, and he's not. He's not playing. So 
He, well, if this is it. Mark Rattle. Good evening, Mark. Nice to meet you last night. Evening, guys. Just in the news. Get in. Absolutely. Ben Moore, 750. He's also heard. Now, Ben is our young Pep Guardiola. So, if anyone knows, it'll be Ben. Uh, David Hughes. Are you noticing that most of these signs have been a surprise and we don't know anything about till they sign? Uh, yes. That is becoming a regular theme. Um, so, Scott okay, Fraser, ben. MK Dons. Uh, great year last year. Six assists, which is obviously... We know already it. Yeah, player players prior to year. When you're a penalty taker and you're a midfielder, I like to look at the assists. But if you look prior to that, according uh, to the wonderful EADT article, um, he contributed 16 goals and 19 assists during, during two impressive seasons in the third tier with Burton. Yeah, 26 season, Martin. He got nine goals and 14 assists. Yeah, I love some so, of that. I, I like his interview. That. I don't know if you, you probably not heard it because you didn't have time. I was trying me, man. I mean, the there was interest from the cha championship teams, but... He wants to kick on. He just He's not happy in just getting out of this league. He wants to kick on to the next level after he's got out of this league because I think if you read him between the lines what he was saying, he probably could have gone to a championship team, but maybe a lower end who've not got as much ambition as we have. So he's got a bit... Look, he's 26. It's another good age, isn't it, really, that we're signing these players at, you know, 26, 27, the majority of them. So yeah, it's a really plays an eight league. or ten, he said. So it's, it's, yes, uh, you can you can play behind the striker or a bit further back. Yeah, and I know they say it doesn't end the pursuit of crooks, but you'd have to think if he if 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 we bring crooks in as uh, crooks in as well, where is he going to play? Because I agree, I do agree with that. You've got Fraser behind the striker, Raheem Harper and uh, Lee Evans just behind that. You've then got three or four attacking options in, 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 in strikers. So if you are going to play a 4-2-3-1, that again narrows it. If you're playing more midfielders options, you decrease your, you decrease your striking options. So only one of them can play. Like it's, it's a great position to be in. Finally, we've got a bit of squad with some depth to it. Like We're not sitting here saying, well, we hope he doesn't play. We hope it's he doesn't nice, play. though, Martin, that we're cherry-picking these these top players in, in the division. Oh, you know, we have Piggott, gorgeous, isn't it? Piggott coming in. And when we see like Piggott, when he signed, and then you've got... When was the last time fans of other clubs were jealous of us? You know, when, when I said did that yesterday. That yeah, exactly. Yeah. When, when did that happen? Because we were all too often getting the waifs and strays in, weren't we? But now we're signing players that other teams are have got interest in and they're choosing us because it's obviously the vision that Cook's selling, that Ashton's selling, you know. Mm. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. As McDonald says, I am ba da ba 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 Loving it. Uh, Lewis Robertson says Scotland's finest. Are you Scottish again, Lewis? Nice to know. Didn't sound um, very Scottish, did he last he night? He didn't. No, he, he really didn't. I'll, uh, MW Mark's D's comments earlier were rated. Then debating what imminent means on the scale of sign. So oh, I'm not going to get into that debate. I'm not going to touch that one. Uh, me and Nanny have been discussing that one. Facebook user MK Deforms okay with move. Won't miss him till he's not there. Yeah, but as we know, Crunch forums. What the fuck do they know? Yeah, this is this well, exactly. What do they know? What, what do, the they, fuck know? do they know? You, you always get this. It was nice, wasn't it, when we had um the Sheffield Wednesday fan on? Yes. Um Jay. And yeah, and uh, Giles Coke gonna be a Giles Coke yeah. on their pod. So hopefully we'll get Cokey on here because he's obviously got some good stories at the time at Mick. But he's probably when we when we signed Penny, he really rated him, didn't he? But that was you I think mean. that's all. That's quite rare now, Martin. When a club, a player leaves, it's like when Gwion, Gwion Edwards leaves town. Everyone's going to say, oh, he's rubbish, isn't he? Look, he's free kick and he's corner. And... But it's... Look. Ben I can't see coming MK... in strong on a Wednesday night. I can't see MK <laughs> Don to be happy at losing this. I, I see um, Russell Martin was a little bit salty in his comments that, like, they've started pre-season, like, clubs have had time to sort of try and sign these players. And now we've got... Look, keep crying. Love it when other managers, other chairmen, they're crying. Cry me a river. Yeah, we've been there too long ourselves. Lee Anderson, the stats Absolutely. suggest so Hawks in a advanced, more advanced role. Michael Finch, you lot knew what was coming. The Fishman said it last night. Well, we, look, last night we saw the show, and, you know, much to my gas, I'll be honest, live. But Cookie did say, you know, what he said. And he said it was such a. I'll tell you what, he's here. Look, the Fisherman's here. Fisherman, um, welcome in. Uh, Evening, chaps. How are you doing? I'm excited. I'm excited. The yeah. more I'm reading here about Scott Fraser and the more my dingly dangly's dry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> yeah, Crunch yeah, Crunch did did um send me a message say he just got out of the shower. <laughs> I said, Yeah, thanks for that image, mate. Yeah, appreciate it. You know. It's a great image, son. Don't <laughs> worry. People, people would pay for that. What have you got on below the waist anyway? Have you, have you just got that t shirt on? <laughs> 
<laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Mike, what do you think? <laughs> Not what I'm wearing, but about what's well, going on. What do I think of what you're wearing? No, well, um, no, um, look, I, I think it's a quality side. I look, look at your stats and stuff, and I mean, they're pretty good, aren't they? Um, it does bode the question, maybe we're just not going to get crooks now. Uh, I think they want too much for him, don't they? They want about 1.5, 1.6 for the player, don't they? But mm. for me, I think, you know, Fraser's another... This is a thing what we were saying when they, when we took him over. And it was, before even the owners took the club over, we were saying, you know, if the owners come in, you know, we'll be able to cherry pick, you know, and that's what we're doing. We're cherry picking some of these players. Um, you know, we've got Piggott in and all these guys come in, you know, and I, I just feel that, I mean, like I said last night, Cookie, you know, he stood there and said, you know, two more players come. And he wouldn't come on the show because he was scared he'd end up saying, who the players were, um, and this is exact words. I quote him on that, and um, you know, um, like you say, it's obviously when you say things like that on the show, or whether it had been me or country, you know, it just disappoints me when I see some comments on on a on a oh, so called. Move on from that. Well, that's got Fraser, Mike. Well, that's got Fraser. You know, he's got he's got something ridiculous. I think Andy Warren has just tweeted out something ridiculous in the sense of 30 goals in three seasons for an attacking yeah. midfielder. 30 goals in three seasons. So between him and Piggott, we've just signed two players in a week who combined for 36 last well, season. Let's be, let's be honest. We haven't had... I was talking to Colin earlier um, over WhatsApp and we were, so, we were saying, when was the last midfielder that scored 10 goals for us? Tommy Miller, I probably. The sort yeah, of, I thought that, but it ain't. I it's think Matty Holland. No, nah, Miller, Miller. David Norris, I think, one season, Mike scored. Did he score 11, Martin, one season? He, yeah, I think he did, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe he did then, yeah. Uh, Matt, like I said, me and Colin were just sort of busy yapping and got all well, we need a, over We there. need goals from all over the pitch, don't we? Because last season, I know, look, we've not, we'll probably touch on it, we might do, that we've, Keith Andrews, Carl Brooks, good shout in the chat. He got nine goals before um, Christmas, didn't he? But last season, Mike, we defensively, not a problem. We had a, no. we had quite a good defensive record. It was what was it, mine? Six games out of ten, nil nil. I think it was. Yeah. So th there's there's it's goals that are going to get you out of this league. You know, uh, look, we will probably sign. I still personally, I think we need a quality centre half, possibly two, but we're definitely one commanding mm. centre back. But at the minute, we, we're just signing all these players and it's attacking players and. I think all the league is sitting up now. And uh, like David Johnson tweeted out yesterday, the, the ex-town player, like the signings that we've made. And he said it's going to be a tough league this season. But all these other teams are going to step... Look, they're going to be sitting up tonight thinking, blimey, Scott Fraser's gone to town. That's eight players. And all eight players that we've got are an upgrade on everything that we had they last are. season. Absolutely. And what we've still got. You know, I mean, you know, we know there's a few players go, you know, that are... The bomb squad, as we call them, but you know, in fairness, it, it's just such an improvement, and it's I just can't I can't wait for the season to start and just you know, I mean, Cook said last night, look, it's 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 a it's a pro it's progression, it's you know, it's, it's it is it is these are, they they still got gel all these players, haven't they? I know Ooh, we're excited yeah. at the minute, but. But look, isn't it exciting? Isn't it exciting? Sitting here, what, three and a half weeks out from the start of the season and, and like August the 7th, guys, cannot come quick enough to, for me. I cannot wait. No, no, I no, I really can't. Um, yeah, it's going to be thoroughly, thoroughly exciting. Hawk says, Bursan, mobile. <laughs> he uh, loves okay. it, he? he does. Neil Burke's Cree Crunch. Lee Bayless, Barry Town was an upgrade on last season's team. Uh, Lewis says uh, Keith Andrews got ten. Yeah, uh, it's 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 exciting times. We it's also just quite it's just quite rare to watch my club spend a bit of money. Um, undisclosed fee. I mean, again, not not the first time, and I hope not the last time this summer. But cooking. Well, mean, sorry, go on. No, go on. No, uh, the thing is, right? It's not like we're spending millions, is it? We're sensible. You know, we're, the money, money, yeah, it, right? money that we're spending on players is sensible League One money. You know, we're not spending we're not spending a million or a million and a half on 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 utter 
tossed to try and, you know, and, and it just seems that, like you said, you know, the owners have brought Mark Ashton in. Ashton has, and Cookie, I mean, Cookie spoke really well last night and he was, he's just full, he's full of, I don't know, he's just something about the bloke. I, I'd not met him, I'd heard him a lot and I thought, you know, but then last night. I love that picture of you and Cookie and Len Martin said you look like the Mitchell brothers. Well, you know. <laughs> Well, right said Fred, wasn't it mine? <laughs> Somebody else said right said Fred, yeah. But I think I think Phil and genuinely, Grant. I think genuinely the 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 team that we're building here, are, any Ipswich Town fan right now, if they're not excited, you know, need to need to just stay away from the ground because this is this is the best thing that's happened to this club for so long. I mean, even when Marcus Evans took over and he brought we brought all in them players that weren't this excited. This is a real, I don't know, everything about this, from the manager to the staff to the coaching to the One CEO. One of them was playing last Evans. night, Mike. One of them was playing last night who Evans bought in. He was playing for Berry Town, And he's 41 now, Carlos Edwards. I know. Still better than Ken Lock. Still better than Ken Lock. Yes. <laughs> Ken Lock was brilliant last night. You leave Ken Lock alone, you big bully. <laughs> right, a few comments. We have got... Facebook user, every good acquisition now makes one makes future ones easier. Yeah. Uh, Mike D, do you boys think with enough percent midfield, do we need a ball winner? What? No, I won't say his name. I won't ruin it. Matt Johnson, da Downs, Bishop, yeah, Jackson should best another two and a half million. No, not indoors, don't say Downs. Ashley Bell, Tommy Miller scored 16 or 18 in the 2005 season. Uh, welcome in, George. Hope you're well. Sensible money, says Josh, on quality players. Ashton, Mars above Evans in the football. Well, that's not hard, Josh. That's not hard. Uh, Ashton above Evans crunch. Is that a hard? Is, was that a hard measuring really. stick to get past? Not really. Look, look. We, I don't think we need to sort of touch on what's gone before. We're looking to the future now. I mean, it's exciting times. Um, how many more do we think we need? I reckon Ooh. three more. If I'm honest, a centre back, another midfielder, and possibly another striker to replace Jackson. You're not going to, uh, surely not going to get another striker, even if no, Jackson, Jackson, you know, if Jackson does go. Because you've got, you've got Bond, you've got Piggott, you've got Norwood. Like, even okay, if you... Three record isn't great, is it? Yeah. And, if and you ain't playing, it ain't a problem. Happened. Most, most, most promotion teams have four forwards in their squad. I, I think it's think... defensively next, we need, mm. who's going to be, I is Penny going to be, is Penny going to be your first choice left back? No, I'm not sure. I think you'll sign a left back. I think you'll sign another centre half, and he'll probably sign, hopefully, Selena, and that'd be three, four. Yeah, Maybe Selena, four. Selena will put, put come in when he put a few goals in and back of the net. No two ways about that. It was last season. Every season leading up to to where we are right now, it's been lack of goals, hasn't it? It's been just not enough goals from the forward players. Mm. You know, See, I mean, you know, I look, I'm not Norwood's biggest fan, like Ben Moore said there. He's in the final year of his contract. Mm. If you can get, I don't know, a couple hundred grand for him, move him on, and then maybe sign a younger up-and-coming striker as a third yeah. striker, possibly. I think Norwood will stay. Personally, I think he'll stay. I, I, I wouldn't keep him, but I think he will. But like you said, you know, if, if Norwood was fit last season, how many goals would he have scored? Yeah, well, if the granddad will, should be a bike. Yeah, but that's that's a that's a cliche argument, isn't it? Because you could argue, you know, you were talking you in, could in, say in the if, if, but some maybes. Liverpool, Liverpool last year lost last season, lost yeah. their key central defender, and it cost them. What dear. Joe Gomez? <laughs> oh bless him! One night out, and he's lost the plot already. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, just that information. All season and, and just most confirmed. We will be having an MK Dons fan on tomorrow. Yes. So you'll That's get the live Fraser will tell you all about him tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, David Hughes, we need a 28 to 30 experience commander oh, yeah. centre half to partner with Wolfenden. Josh yeah. Piggott and Fraser scored 12 less goals together than our, than our whole team. <laughs> That's uh, Ben Cave would lose no sleep if Norwood left. Nope. Absolutely, I'm with you. Who's our captain? Well, Evans at the minute. Interesting the fee about um, Fraser, because obviously today, I think Liam Gibbs, they're on about, we're going to get a bit of money for that, and I reckon we could get 500 grand for him. So that's going to cover a lot. I don't know. What's your thoughts on Liam Gibbs? For me, personally, I, I've look, I've not mm. got a problem with it. I've not got a problem. 
we left it too long. If we really rated him, we'd have been offering him a contract last January, um, and he'd have probably stayed. If look, he goes well, to Norwich. I, look, I, look, I know what we think of Norwich. Norwich are a good, well-run club, and look at the youngsters they've had come through there. He lives in Bury. He's not going to have to move. Good luck to him, I say. Yeah. No, I think uh, no, I, no, no. Any player, any any of our players that go go to Norwich, nah, not. Don't it's funny, Mike. Books. It's funny, not Mike. Because books, no, I, I'm, I'm staying my ground. I just not in my books. I think it's bang out of order. It's funny because we see. Um, I see Jack Lancaster last night. We're good, night. Enough, <laughs> we're good enough for him to bring him to this level, and now he's saying. He's saying, fuck you guys, I'm going to go somewhere else. Oh. I'm going to go to your local rivals. Nah, not good for me. I, Mike, I see, I see Stephen and Jack Lancaster last night and I was talking to him. Mm. And then we got on talking about Gibbs. Well, Jack said he wouldn't have gone to Norwich. He said he wouldn't go. So, there we, are. Oh, we could all say that's, that no, after that says the fact. Everything you, that says everything. The fact he's going to Norwich oh, says everything. Oh, Mike, come on. Nah. If Jack Lancaster was up for transfer and Norwich thought he has some... And they, oh, I'd, I'd go to fucking Norwich if nah. they said, look, come and, come and work for Come and play up front for me. Not, I mean, I'm, I'm not as fast as you. It's a be, job. But... It's a job to them. They're, they're different than we are. Yeah. Nah. Hey, look, I mean, I, I, I cared... I mean, I, last season, I gave a lot of airtime to Liam Gibbs. So I, I'm really invested in it. Well, no, I gave zero airtime to Liam Gibbs. So I'm not going to give any more airtime to Liam Gibbs. It's not a problem, honestly. I didn't see him much 500 last year. Grand, 500 grand. Put that back in the pot. You know? Good you riddance. Go. I'm sorry. Well, that's just how I look at it. I just, not, I just don't look. It, it, it's, 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 I'm old school, lads. Yeah, I'm very old school about how I see you. <laughs> You're prehistoric that's how I've school. Always, that's how I've always been. I just don't, you know... Ask Norwich fans about how they, what about Ian Marsh, uh, Andy Marshall when he came here? Don't never forget. Ask town fans that. about Andy Marshall. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've never Norwich forgiven fans. Norwich for allowing him to come here. But, this is you know, a bit different. But this is a bit different. Fans, he's a young lad. He's a young lad, Mike. No, yeah. What? Um, that's, don't, don't sit all well right, with right, me. I'm sorry, right. but it don't. All so, right. end of the day, is what it is. Good luck to him. You know. George but, Nunn. Um, uh, don't left back. any respect from me. Left side, well, I don't think he's going to be losing sleep, Mike. No, left side, centre half, left winger, and an attacking midfielder for George. Stuart Darnell, I think Nor will go in the January window. I think he'll go in this window, and I've got an iron tram here. Not, not anything con in the know. Just because the manager. Yes, it the is. Because yeah. of Mickey. Dave, Dave King, do you still think we will get crooks also? Well, word on the street, Dave, is this doesn't end our interest in crooks, but it does weaken Rotherham's hand significantly because now you can say to Rotherham, well, you know, we have got somebody else who can play there. Played well there well last year. So don't hold us to ransom. Um, Michael Finch. Because what Ashley Bell said earlier in, early in the show, which I think, I'm not sure if you saw or not, was quite true where he says a lot of games at this level, um, including, you know, uh, Papa John's and the, and the Prezzo Express trophy and all those sorts of different things. So you need some, some quality and depth. Facebook user says Paul Lambert. Uh, okay, welcome in, Paul. Carl Brooks, if you're working at Tesco on £9 an hour and save coming for you for £13 an hour, you go. Mike Brown doesn't. Mike Brown's old school. No, no, he no, works no, at Tesco, no, no, no. He works no. there life. No, not a chance in a million. That, that's, that's, that, that is a poor analogy. Poor analogy. Matt Johnson didn't realise anyway. really Gibbs sponsored Waters to Norwich, thought it was the three peaks. Anyway, highlight of last <laughs> night, everybody, was Mike Brown when he sent me a picture. So Matt was sitting with my two kids <laughs> and Mike... Mike message saying, I didn't know you had three. <laughs> That's a fair point. I'll tell you somebody who will be upset. I tell you what, that guy was brilliant, wasn't it? Me, me, oh, there he is. Like, there's my old, my old, my I old heard you had late night, late night coffee, coffee in the um little soiree with the media mogul in the shed. Yeah, mate. Yeah, he had a, he had, he had a little look. Yeah, a little look. Yeah, it was good. Um, <laughs> it, it, Good evening, gentlemen. How are we? Good, well, good. we're doing fine. Scott Freitas just signed for the Blues. We've got some more goals in the bank. It's lovely. Oh, amazing. I, I, do you know what? When this when this cropped up earlier, I've, I've, I've got to say, I think I think that's nigh on, nigh on equally as good a sign and as Crooks, to be fair. Um, do I still want Crooks to come in? Yes. I w I'd be lying if I said no. Um can you put but, yeah, no, Sorry, Rich. Sorry, Rich. There you Sorry. go. Look, Matt Stannard, a random question. How tall is the media mogul? As in your flag picture, he looks tiny. How, how tall is he, do you reckon, Mike? Oh, Willie Carson. Oh, four foot nine, isn't he? At best. 
think is I, it... I think I, I, I think he's the tallest one in the boroughs. So, well, I think know. he wears twelve to thirteen, probably. He was he, He's not much taller than your older son, Rich. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's actually as tall as him. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Strut. I wish I'd been there to see the Strut across the oh, car. Oh, you'll see it enough next year. <laughs> He's just... Oh, I love Matt. He's brilliant. Go on, Colin. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, go, go about what we was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think, I, 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 you know, when you look at the bloke's stats, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're outstanding, really, for this league, you know. And, yeah. and I think, you know, if we get the players in, I think, as are coming in, um, you know, this is going to be something else next season, I think. And I've got to, I've got to underline what Mike said. I'll tell you what, I spoke to um, Paul Cook last night. And like oh, Mike... No, like, <laughs> and like, like, like everybody else, you know, I mean, you know, we, we haven't had a chance to speak to him before. But i tell you what, I thought he'd come across... And I'm not just saying this. I speak as I think, like Rich does, like Mike does, like Martin does. Like Matt does, like well, we all do, and he, 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 I was telling him about when me and my father he was going along the A14, and you know, it wasn't if we was going to win, that was by how, by how many we was going to win by. And he was literally looking at me in the eyes, Michael back is up, he was looking at me in the eyes, and he was, and I know he was, he was taking every word of that in. And, you know, there was none of this, oh, you know, oh, oh that's a load of roll, hooey kind of thing. Um, there was, I could see him, and I said to him, I said, please, Paul, I said, you're doing a marvellous, more or less, word for not word for word, but, you know, you're doing a good job. You know, you're getting good players in. You know, just, just get us back to where we should be, you know. Um, sorry, sorry, yeah. Colin. It's a, I, it's a, it was a wonderful story last night. It is again this time, but Mike D is just sort of trying to steal your thunder here. He just says, "I heard Ma Matt lives in a in a doll's house." <laughs> oh my god! Believe me, that's how Matt lives in a doll's house. <laughs> But Martin, even Venetia's watching, trying to watch something on the telly, and she's laughing. Well, as George <laughs> says, he made me look tall. I said to George, I thought, <laughs> you said, Matt, you look nine foot tall. He was, he was ridiculously tall. Um, Adam Plan, uh, Adam Plan play with every si new signing, getting more and more confident we will go up this season. Um, I just give a massive shout out to Martin Swallow for last night, you know, because um, quite an emotional night for me because I've known Martin for nearly twenty years. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, it was we, they played it for the Martin Swallow Trophy. And I, look, I spoke to him when I got there, and the immense pride that was in his face, you know, because he's done nearly everything. He's been coach driver for Berry. He's done the Tannoy. He's on the committee at town. He's um, vice chairman on the supports club. Look, massive part of both football clubs. <clears throat> he, had, he had a wonderful night, and look, fully deserved. And look, he's really struggling at the minute, and we're all with you, Martin. Hundred percent. Absolutely, yeah, Rich. Absolutely spot on, Rich. Um, well said, Richard. Matt Polly Pocket. Yeah, well yeah. said, mate. No, don't worry, Matt. We'll make sure you will hit you. You will know what he feels about what you're saying <laughs> about him. You, 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 you never ever. I oh, was a bit Bruce Forsyth there, wasn't I? You've never known Matt to <laughs> um to be short of a, of a few words. So don't worry, he'll, he'll let you know. Michael Finch. Matt he looks like tall when he gets on camp. He sits on cushions. Uh, it's true. I want to read something that Scott Fraser apparently has said. I've just seen it on a tweet somewhere. I've lost it. He says he wants to force it, um, become one of the main men at Ipswich and force his way into the Scotland setup. So ambitious talk from our new signing. Um, I mean, it's Scotland, so he probably could. No offence, Lewis. Uh, but <laughs> nice to be signing. Where, where, where's, where's the? It's the views of the fans are not the show. Well, I, I own the network. <laughs> 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 It's my view. I mean, my legal name is Elizabeth. You can work for anybody who work for me. Um, so we'll go with it. Uh, Ken Mullins, I agree with Dave King. Uh, I still think our biggest sign will be a new captain. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I still think modern football captains are becoming less and less. I really do. That's just my personal opinion. No, you need lead. You need look. You need a leader on the pitch, but then you need. You need like a, a vice and a sub vice captain. Do you know what I mean? Um, on the pitch no, at the same time. No, I don't, because good players yeah, don't yeah. need leading. 
good players but, don't need lead. Yeah, but Racehorses like, don't need lead. Well, they probably do. By yeah, but too. you say that. We do. We do need. We do need. We, the reason why we've done so well, like I said, Mark Stewart highlighted it the other week in the, when he came on the show. He said that Ipswich was full of leaders on the pitch. We had Matty Holland, who was who led by example, was all over the pitch. Probably did most of the running. And then you had Majilton, Majilton organising and creating. Do you know what I mean? You just And then you had, like, you know, our back line, McGrill, you know, and we just had, like, so many leaders, big big personalities, mm. big leaders on the pitch. And that's what, what about I'm England, saying. though, Matt? What about England, then, Mike? Because Harry Kane's captain, and for me... Oh, well, for me, that's, not, that's not a great choice. Not he, captain, he's a captain I, by his ability, isn't he? By exactly. the way he plays. Yeah. I've got, I've got to say, Martin, I think... Um, you know, looking back again, but uh, you know, it's it's. Um, we had a leader last season. He was decent getting he's, back. He's winding you up, Mike. God damn me, Carl, you when wind you, up. When you think when you when you think back to the great eighty-one side, we had leaders all over the pitch. We had like people like Beatty, Butcher, Burley, uh, Mariner. You know, all loud people. You know, all all leaders. You know, but we still had. A magnificent leader in Mick Mills, England's exactly. captain, for God's sake. Is that yeah. exactly there, Martin? Is that King there in the chat about a proper spine? And he's right there because um, Piggott was captain of Wimbledon. <clears throat> got Evans, he's a leader in the middle. We just now we need that centre back. Yeah, but as uh, as somebody said, I've lost it. We're not, we're not even having an assistant manager. Like we've not even got an assistant manager. So he's not getting one, is he? No, so it, you know the the old traditional way of doing things necessarily isn't the way we're following it this year. And and as you're all saying, you had that one person who wore the armband, but you had the leaders up and down the pitch. Yeah, you don't need it. And I like, I mean, Arsenal not a great example, but they're a Premier League side, and they went a season without a captain under under Unai Emery, who's just won the Europa League. So he's not a bad coach what? himself. True, you know, like. Uh, Matty Holland would have been. I think a figurehead. I mean, I'd, I'd say figurehead for the club, you know, like not just yeah. not just on the pitch, off the pitch as well, you know. I That's think. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, so blues. You know, know Kane got shit on Norwood. Yeah, I mean, look, Chambers was a was a good was a captain off the pitch, a really good captain off the pitch, wasn't he? Yeah, because he was that sort of you know. Like I said, he, yeah. he, he he wasn't a captain because of his ability. He was a captain because he was vocal, because he was. Um, you know, he was good off the pitch, and maybe, and you know, stuff like that. But I, I still think every very every good team, every championship, Premier League, World Cup, whatever team has a a captain or a team Liverpool? of captains. What about Liverpool, they had, they had Jordan Henderson. Sorry, what about Liverpool? They had Jordan Henderson, not the greatest player, is he? But he's a good leader. Exactly, he's a good. Well, yeah, but you say he's not a greatest player, but. You know the stats would say differently. When he plays, Liverpool don't lose so many games. You know, it's, you know, it, it, sometimes I think Henderson is un, is under underrated. Sometimes I think you know, I know he didn't ever didn't come on and make a huge impact in the final, but it, it, the reality is, I think Henderson is underrated. You know, he was always touted as an next Gerrard, and that was unfair because he was never going to be a next Gerrard. You know, and I think Ipswich as a club. For us to do well and get promoted out of this league and then to, to fight for promotion out of the next league, out of the championship, we need we need players, we need leaderships across the board, but we still need that one captain to take responsibility <laughs> to be able to go to the referee and say, look, you know, this is not right, whatever, you know, uh, uh, and, and, and sort of uh, protect the team and support the team. And yeah, do you know what I mean? I just think without that, we it would... We can't do uh, well, an Emery because look what he did for Arsenal. Mike, I've got an Arsenal fan. Mike, yeah. Mike don't, 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 don't you think that Evans is going to be getting given the armband then? I don't know, mate. Um, Would you not think it will, it will naturally emerge through the weeks and days of the training ground where your natural leader, your alpha, probably. because every dressing, room, every dressing room has an alpha, and Luke Chambers, by if you, if you ever saw the players together at awards evenings or whatnot, it was always by clear the alpha of that group, and everyone looked at him from kids to older pros. That, that would emerge. We're talking about it based off, you know, we need it. Well, that, that will just naturally organically happen, and... You know, it might be one of the new signings. It might be one of the older older lads that was here last year. I'm not saying it would be like Wolfenden, but for example, but given a better player around him, 
another year as a pro, a senior pro. You know, you, you don't know what is going to emerge in, in that dressing room. Um, that, I'm going to drop the link the in the chat for anyone who wants to jump on the show and have their say. Dominic Mann, talk of leadership. Uh, oh, sorry, Dominic. Uh, Mike Ashton gave the story where, about where the money is coming from and what he speaks of players. The Norwich gets driving band. Do you think he'll be staying? Personally, I don't, but that remains to be seen. Jay, uh, TJ said a very... Tom James, nice comment earlier. Nice to have players ready to step up to the championship won't wait to do do it with our project. Sorry, Tom. Uh, night and day compared to the last regime. Ch yeah, Crunch, Scott Fraser, a player who turned down... Well, or had yeah. championship teams. In yeah, like, like, like I said earlier, it's nice to hear when he's like... He could have probably gone to a championship team. I don't know who was linked with him, but it's nice that he's not sort of getting in a comfort zone, you know, if he sort of goes to a lower end championship team. Yeah, he's playing in the championship, but he wants to, he's obviously been sold the vision of what we want to do. You know, we, we're not happy with Martin of just getting out of this league. That's the first look, first stage, got to get out. I'm not, it's not a given. We're not just going to turn up and roll over everybody. We've got to work hard and it'll still be tough, but Hopefully, at the end of this season coming, we'll get out of this league and then it's on to the next stage. And look, we've had the owners on the show, Mike Ashton. They're not going to settle for mediocre sitting in 12th, 15th place in the middle of the championship. That is not going to happen, you know. We're spending some oh. money now. I expect if we go up to the championship, the majority of these players will go with us. I was talking to Matt last night about Joe Piggott. Is, at the minute, I don't know if he is a championship striker. I know he's done well in League One, hasn't he? But if you look at him, where he's come from, it's all down sort of in the lower leagues. But then you just have to look at um, when but he was Shrewsbury man when he was but on Rich. about Grant Holt. He went to Norwich and he was in the lower leagues all his career. And then look what he done. So it's yeah. not but, not a case of oh, he's played for Charlton in the lower leagues. He went to Maidstone. He was at Cambridge, didn't he? a lot. South End. It all depends, doesn't it? Coaching, winning you mentality. Could, uh, yeah. You could but Rich, what did we say to each other the other day? And we totally agree with each other. But when I mentioned about Paul Mariner and where he came from, God rest his soul. Yeah, he, yeah. Came, he came from Plymouth out of Division Three within six months of being at ten. He was in the bl bloody England side. But what I yeah. like, guys, it's what crap. I like, guys, is we are boy. I was saying we are boiling other fans of other clubs' piss because yeah. they don't like it, and too often. We've just sat back and seen all these players go to other teams and we're left with all the shit. Times are changing massively. Well, absolutely. Dave King just says here, I'm not sure you guys have seen, but the Sunderland fans are absolutely spitting feathers with us signing all these players, especially Piggott. Rich right, Boy says, says, there you go. Ricky Lambert. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Look at Ruby Lambert. Carl Brooks, Lambert, Schleidley, Lalana, all were in this league. Josh, welcome in, my man. How you doing? I'm all right, thank you. How are we all? But yeah, first things first, you got the new shirt. Give it a rating out of 10. Uh, probably 8.59. Oh, that good. What I didn't realise until I saw it in the flesh last night um, was that the pinstripes are more pronounced. Yeah. I thought they were more faded, but they're more bolder on the yeah. on the shirt in, in, the, in person. But that one line where the crest is still winds me up. Anyway... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not going to get it for that reason. Uh, unless, unless someone wants to buy it for me. Uh, Josh, Scott Fraser. Joe Can you Peter. win? Can you win in the draw? I'm not winning the fucking draw, am I? It's my bloody draw. You How's that going to look? You could win. It's I a random... The, I took the prediction league for one week, and after you get your knickers in a twist. Who won that, anyway? Well, that's to be, continued. That's be, that's to be continued. Josh, Scott Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> A very good signing, isn't it? Obviously, 14 goals last season, six assists. We haven't had that in midfield for years. In fact, I don't think I can even remember it. Yeah. Um, so it'd be nice to see a midfielder score goals, get assists. It'll be very nice. Um, Matt Phillips has just put in the WhatsApp group. Martin's put, you're getting it. And he's put, getting what? Plaudits. No, Matt, you're not getting plaudits. You're getting absolutely bullied. Rinsed. <laughs> 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 Um, Daniel Bonner last when is Cole Skews back? I think it's uh, uh, September, isn't it? The Colchester game, or is it October? That's when he'll be back. Daniel Lou Chambers and Cole Skews Derby <sighs> testimonial. I fucking feel sick even thinking about it. Um, let's move on from that one. From Mr. Ipswich Town, look at Johnson sign from Berry, Means from Chippenham, Holland from Bournemouth when Bournemouth was struggling in League Two. Um, you mean who saw Marcus Stewart having the season he had 
jumping from the from what was then League One, Division One, to the Premier League. I don't think anyone would have said, "Oh yeah, he'll score." I mean, he didn't even start the season of first choice, did he? That season. No, because he said, didn't he? He was on the bench, and then he got mm. remember he came against Villa. But yeah, I do agree with you. There. I do agree with you, Martin. You know, it's about goals, consistency, and form. And like when Scott, as Scott Fraser sort of talking today, if you listen to his interview um, or read the stuff you've read around the internet, it's about he's, he's confident because he's got that many goals or assists over the last couple of seasons. Like he's coming in with pedigree. Um, he's not. This is not a player who's had a bad injury. Anyway, and he's looking for a last chance redemption. Talking of pedigree, have you all seen the Ollie Hawkins goal for Mansfield? Oh, flip off, will you? Flip off. Who's yeah. Ollie Hawkins? Was it Who's good? Was it good, Mitch? It's about Was 25 yards in the top end. He's peaked in July. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? Yeah, OMG. Exactly. Yeah, I think oh, so so you, you, you can polish a turd, it's still a turd. <laughs> but, occasionally, <laughs> but occasionally they rise to the top. Um, Daniel Barnett, uh -huh. good to see these players joining, but surely they're going to need two to three months to gel. Yeah, yeah. he did say, yeah, Cookie yeah. did say that last night, didn't he, Crunch? He did say we're going to need a bit of time. Um, but we've got it's... a very kind start, haven't we, Martin? If you look at the first five fixtures, I've, yeah. I've, on look, I know we're not playing on paper, but if you look on paper, there, there is some, some winnable games, yeah, sure. But we're not winning the league in the first five games, we're not. We've done it the last two seasons. We started on fire and then look, so it's, it's a long time. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, boys, what, what on earth are Morecambe thinking at the moment? You know, with all due respect, what are Morecambe thinking about coming down here, probably 20,000 plus in the ground? They normally get about two, right? They'll be buzzing. You know? They'll be buzzing, Colin. They'll be buzzing well, for that game. That's their, that's their cup final. Well, yeah, I agree. I agree. Nothing to lose. Nothing well, to lose. Absolutely. No, no, I do um, agree with you that, Rich. I'll take anyway. a one 0 win. I'll take a one 0 win on the first day if you give it to me now. Yeah, injury records out the window. Thank God, he'll be doing the painting come August, Rich. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> on Ollie Hawkins. Because uh, Cookie also said last night, didn't he, Rich, that um, about the, about the culture and these players coming in are representing uh, winners, are they not? Well, yeah, they're, they're confident, aren't they? These players we're signing, they're, they're at the top of their game, Martin. When you look at the record that Piggott had, you look at the record that Fraser's got, the goalkeeper from Salford, he won the Golden Glove. You know, all of these players, Lee Evans, Wigan wanted to keep him. It wasn't as though they wanted him out the door. And all of these players, look, we've signed eight, we've got rid of 20. There, there is more to go out the door, I would have thought, because obviously we see them playing last night, didn't we? Bishop, Jackson, Kenlock, Brett McGavin, they're all going to go. I The one player I'm really interested in this season Seeing what he does for the first team is Cobra. There is some. I agree with Ben Adams. I agree with Ben Adams from Monday. There's something in their mind, and I know you, look, you say about his armbands. Something there, something there. I think with him. Yeah. Every, 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 every Olympic swimmer started with armbands. Yep. He certainly uh, did. I just, I'm, a, I'm with Rich on this. I think there's something about Dobra. I just like you know maybe playing with some different players, and and like, the thing is like like we said uh, the. When, when Cook said about, you know, it was so, our, our culture before the takeover was, you know, was, was woeful. The mentality was woeful within the squad, the players, just, you know, the whole whole thing. And, and now we've got, got this different mentality now, haven't we? We've, all of us, even us fans, we've all got this real, you know, vigorous mindset that we are really good. It's just so much positivity that mm. I, I genuinely, I'm not, you know, I, I am. I can be quite negative sometimes. But, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, no, that's an understatement. That's a, yeah, isn't it, just? <laughs> no, no, honestly. I re I, but I'm realistic as well. And the, But even I'm excited about the coming season because it's being fed to us through actions rather than words. Mm. You know, Evans was like, lovely big old speech. This is our whatever, whatever. Yeah, but your actions are saying differently. The club's actions are saying differently. Whereas the owners now are saying, and Cookie's saying, look, this is what we want to do. This is where we want to go. And the actions are being backed up. Yeah, They're not just giving it a load of flannel and then not backing it up. We're being, everything's being backed up. Everything that we want to see as a club by the owners, their actions, they're not spending, overspending. They're spending sensibly. They've got someone who knows football, understands football. He's probably on a good wage. But the reality is, 
that is pence compared to what would happen if we can get back up the championship. And then who knows what would happen? Potentially so. I mean, you have surprised the, the chat a little bit, Mike, because everyone's saying, yeah, you're never negative. And it's, it's quite a surprise to them <laughs> that you didn't <laughs> consider yourself to be negative. Um, <laughs> but just letting you know what the chat no is saying. No need for this abuse. I have my <laughs> wife here, OK? She gives me enough abuse. Yeah, and that's my, I have to say, that's I, quality abuse. I, I do feel that. sorry for her. I do feel sorry for her. Right, anyway, don't does. forget, we are partnered with Away Day Beers. You can get your ITC Legends pack, fourteen ninety nine, nine 9 in stock. Only 9 in stock. Will one of these signings we won't be in that pack in 10 years' time? Who knows? Um, Cruncher says well, no. Just, but look a bit. Can I just give a shout-out to Josh? Because he's... Um, mm. I don't know when he's doing it. There will be a subscription service. He's working on it at the minute. So, um, more to come. Anyway, the keg's all gone. Uh, your was, keg or his yeah. cog? His Good, boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good <laughs> boy. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Martin, can I just say something? Going back oh, onto John. Freud got, slip. Yeah, can I just go uh, say something about Dobra? One thing I like Please about do. Dobra, he's got a bit of devil in him. Oh, That's the one thing I love I about totally Dobra. Oh, with you don't like the you devil know? in him. And, and I'll tell you what, some of the greatest players who've played in the Premier League have got a bit of devil in them, you know? Yeah. And he's got that. I'll give him that. He's got a bit of devil in him. I like that. Absolutely. Right, we're back tomorrow night uh, with our normal Thursday night show. It's 8.30. Myself, I think it's definitely Amy and Curtis is joining us. Will we have another signing? Um, Cookie spoke to, obviously, yourselves yesterday. Brown, Mike Brown. No, I, I'm Colin. Will we have a second signing tomorrow? Do you think? I would say, if not tomorrow, it'll be the next day. I would say there's definitely one coming through those doors in the next 24 or 48 hours, without no shadow of a doubt. After after what we heard from a certain person, I'd say that was n nearly definite. Nearly. Yeah. Okay. And out of 10, Rich, our transfer, our transfer strategy and targets to date. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Be a good eight and a half. Maybe a nine in one more away day biz. Colin, the MK Don's fan, I will drop you his details. Martin, he will be on tomorrow night. And don't forget, you can still subscribe. Two beautiful <laughs> shirts to win. When's that? Um, when's that coming to? When, when the away shirt is released? Yes. So it could when, close when, at any moment. When When is that going to be exactly? Do anybody know at all? They said mid July, didn't they? Yeah, because they're having trouble because of COVID. But um, and, 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 and okay. I'll tell you what. And that, another thing I'd like to ask, I, I I forgot the other evening. Does anybody know at all? I heard it was going to be the summer. Does anybody know at all when the Kevin Beatty statue is going to be erected? No, haven't said anything yet, have they? No, they haven't. Um, if we hear anything, obviously we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, this I, want, I want, I want, I want to be there when that's actually officially unveiled. Well, yes, yeah, that'd be that. That, yeah. that will be something special because he was a great player yeah. for the football club. Um, mm. I mean, I'm looking. I think I mean, that'd be a good idea. Do it on the first day of the season. Do it then. I, I, that that would be maybe there's a bit yeah. too much going on then. Maybe Possibly. if you remember, they unveiled the Sir Alf Ramsey statue. Uh, before the Man United game, yeah, yeah. Bobby, so Bobby Charlton with, with with the great Ray Crawford, yes. Happy birthday to Ray yesterday, eighty five, Colin. Happy, happy birthday to the legend that's Mister Crawford, Jungle Boy was his nickname, Jungle Boy. Mike D is giving our transfer so far a solid eight. Mike, you're yeah. never negative, always positive. What do you reckon? Look, based on the last, based on based on what we've seen the last say five, eight years. This has got to be a nine, in it, surely? It's got to be a good, solid nine, isn't it? Let's be it's honest. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good. It yeah, I mean, yeah. come on. Oh, you know, if this was... Yeah, I, look, I'm not going to go... Who is that man? Who is that man up in the corner? Because I do not recognise him being no. so positive. He's, the, he's like a new man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Would you want me? Would you rather me? Would you rather me be a bit, be a bit more negative then? We'll wait no. till about September, October when you're on here ranting and raving. It's true. It's well, true. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Tom James, me. ITG in the goat. Uh, right, we're done. We're back tomorrow at eight thirty. But yeah, I'm thoroughly excited with this latest addition to our, to our team. Mine's, uh, off get... the piece. Mine's off to put his pants on now. <laughs> <Mine>. <laughs> That's just a horrible image. 
I don't need it, Rich. I don't need it. Ten says David. Uh, Callie says four out of five. No Messi, no Aguero, uh, no ambition. I mean, he's got a point, isn't he? I mean, Messi's there for the taking. He's he's a free transfer, he's not and we're spending a five-year contract. Has he? Yeah, he's going five-year contract with a fifty percent wage reduction. Who's Please. that? What? That was needed. Messi. Man. Where's he going? Staying at Barcelona. Staying at Barcelona, Mike. He was always staying there. He was never leaving, was I'd he? I'd rather have Matt Cruz. That's, 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 that's why you'll never be, in my opinion, the best player in the world. Yes, nice one. Enjoyed the away day yesterday, by the way. Have to get over some uh, meet use. Yes, Doctor, you, you will. Matt, be happy. Five foot three, you'll be pissing yourselves. <laughs> uh, when are the Phoenix shirts released? Crumbs. We'll never know when the Ipswich Town away shirts are released. Let <laughs> alone when the Phoenix ones are released. Now you're really asking. Um, Cali said he only signed because he heard Piggott sign for us. Uh, and yeah, plus bonus money he's on, says Daniel. Daniel, I hope you're well. Good, good to see you. Right, back tomorrow, 8.30, live and exclusive. Here is the outro, but one more in the bank. Number eight. Yes. Get <laughs> Thank you.